the leader's mood because the amygdala takes control. So if your stress level is always heightened and your profits go down. So this is the clue, the magic factor, the second magic factor that is going to take us to business results. The first was the best people. Yes, the second magic factor. Any clues what it is? You see it there. The leaders, leaders what? Leaders mood. The leaders mood. Yeah, the leader's mood. So, leader on the way to work has an accident. <laughs> See, I'm sure lots of us have had accidents in our lives. I have had many. <laughs> and when you have an accident, you feel really happy, right? Early morning on the way to work, somebody comes and hits the buffer at the back. You're like, yes, I'm so happy this happened. <laughs> yeah? Is it, is it like that? You no, know, it's like, ah. So, we get really, really annoyed. As soon as we get angry or upset, your amygdala gets switched on and your frontal lobe gets switched off. It's like a paddle. If you have ever experienced, and I'm sure you have, been in a situation where after the situation was over, you said, I was so angry, I didn't know what I was saying. I was so angry, I didn't know what I did at that time. How many of you have ever experienced something like that? Come, all of us. I can raise, if I had 10 hands, I can raise 10 hands, right? Okay, why is that? Because your amygdala takes control. See, why is your amygdala there as part of your brain? To play a very, very important function. If your amygdala was not there, we would cease to exist. We would not be able to live. All right? It's the amygdala that triggers the stress response or the flight or fright, flight, fight or flight response. Hit or run away. Yes? All right? See, it's like this, right? We, we, we have been on this planet for how many years? Who knows? Anyone has a guess? How long has Homo sapiens sapiens, modern man, been on this planet? Not all the erectus fellows and all that. Homo sapiens sapiens. Api. So it's around 200,000 years is what we are told. Just compare that to the dinosaurs and we are nothing. Dinosaurs 6.4 million years. <laughs> Api only 200,000 years. We are only 200,000 years. Of the 200,000 years, how long have we been actually civilized? Which is living in a house, not in a cave, not up a tree, not in the jungle. Give or take about 15 to 20,000 years. That's like less than 10% of the total time. So, the flight or fight response has evolved to keep us alive, to keep us safe. Are you understanding? Because for most of our existence as a species, we were living in the jungle. So when you're living in the jungle, now you just had lunch, which was good, I guess. When you're living in the jungle, if you don't see a sudden movement, you don't eat that day. Because that was lunch. <laughs> that just ran by, right? <laughs> oh, a lunch time and then here, right? How we call, do we move call, whatever, right? Lunch time. Right? Or worse, if you don't see that, you become the lunch for somebody else. Right? So, if a lion is chasing you in the jungle to eat you up, what should you do, Akila? Stay to have a chat with the lion? Ah, lion, how are you? Right? Run as fast as you can. Right? How fast and how many minutes can you run away from a lion? Irene, tell me, give me a number. How long do you think you can run? When a lion is chasing you, two to three minutes, that also I think you'll be remarkable, right? <laughs> For me, it's probably like 30 seconds or so, right? <laughs> Let's not overestimate me. 30 seconds might be the maximum time I can run away from a lion bounding behind me, right? <laughs> so, either way, 
in order to run from the lion amygdala needs to switch on stress response needs to switch on adrenaline needs to pump cortisol needs to pump to give me that extra energy to run as fast as i can are you all with me yes because if it doesn't i'm dead already do you see the importance of the amygdala have you heard of stories where children let's say a child has got caught under a vehicle or something and the mother has somehow got superhuman strength and just lifted that car and taken the child out you have heard of things like this you try to ask the mother do it again a second time can't but that one instance she did why it was such high stress right i have to save my child so you do it yeah so if a lion is chasing us we can run for if it's iran the 3 minutes if it's sanjeev 30 seconds right either way <laughs> end of that time your stress situation is over are you understanding either way the stress situation is over because either in 30 seconds or 3 minutes you have escaped the lion and you are up a tree or something and you can relax and tell the lion oh you couldn't catch me right or the lion has caught you and eaten you up and your stress situation is still over because you're dead i understand it either way stress is over <laughs> there's no more stress now so the amygdala and our whole stress response has been engineered not for long term stress for small spikes of stress and then we have to get back to normal are you understanding the problem with our modern organizations and us is that sometimes when we go to bed we are stressed yes which means you can't sleep properly also because all the worries are in your mind hit him go the grand hit him go the grand i'm worried i'm worried boss is coming boss is worse than the lion now because boss lion comes and chases you for 30 seconds boss is chasing you every day right and fellow rather eat you up for what pity for the right 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 all over kanda okay right so what do you do okay right so you can't escape now right So when you go to bed, you're stressed. You get up in the morning, you're stressed. You go to office, you're stressed. You're at always at a high level of stress. So if your stress level is always heightened, you start to have other problems. <laughs> Immunity goes down because when you're under stress, your body can't do the normal maintenance functions. There's a lot of maintenance that happens in the body, right? Especially while sleeping. So if cortisol levels are high, immunity goes down. That's why have you noticed when you're under stress or you're tired, you get sick faster. You catch everything that's going right, yeah, because stress is high. So as as modern human beings, we have to figure out that boss chasing us is not a life or death situation. Customer screaming at us doesn't mean we'll die. Uh, may may missing out on some deadline doesn't mean the world is over. Yeah. having some quality problem doesn't mean people are going to die or you're going to die right so we need to look at things differently see why does the amygdala uh, kick in as soon as you panic amygdala thinks lion is chasing we need to help this person save his life which is not a wrong thing amygdala is doing amygdala is doing the right thing we are giving the wrong signals to the amygdala are you understanding so as soon as you and i panic You think my God's problem? What do I do? Amygdala says, "Don't worry, I will save your life." And by the way, Amygdala has been doing that job because we are all alive. Of course, we have had stress. <laughs> are you all understanding? Yeah. So, this rational thinking is handled by what is called the frontal lobe or the prefrontal cortex. This part. This is the last part of the brain to evolve. Only we have it, and other primates have it. So, chimpanzees have it. dogs don't right this gives us rational thinking decision making logical thinking language mathematics decide what should i do this or this or this or none <laughs> all that so as soon as amygdala is there amygdala is only focused on what survival 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 right so in order to survive you don't have to think what's the best decision i can make now just run as fast as you can that's it right so now what happens amygdala is on from frontal cortex off you come to work in a bad mood as soon as you walking you see people there right they say good morning say you are good morning my good morning na tumhara mukha mai good morning kya that was my accident accident i have put up on a good morning now what happens right your mirror neurons so what is mirror neurons so there is a mirror there right if you look at that you see your reflection we all have mirror neurons which are there 
to capture and identify the emotions of others around us. Again for survival. Now imagine, imagine, I'll take Iranda again. If imagine if Iranda is the tribal leader, okay, 10,000, 20,000 years ago, tribal leader. Who becomes the tribal leader towards this? Is it the most intelligent person or the strongest? It's the strongest, right? Physically strongest. Now, if I, my mirror neurons are not there, and on a day that Iranda is in a bad mood, I try to come and joke with him, what happens? One, one shot and Sanjeev is dead. <laughs> right? Same way for all of us. Try going and cracking a joke with your boss on a day that he's in a bad mood. Go on. Jolly ne? <laughs> right? Are you understanding? So we don't do that because our mirror neurons are telling us, boss is in a bad mood, but don't go today, boss is don't go and ask for leave today. Other girls, they want to leave there, right? We, we all do that, right? Yes? Yeah? So, mirror neurons, immediately everyone in the team picks up on this thing. Boss is in a bad mood, boss shouted at me. What happens? They mimic. They also get into a bad mood. The team is also now in a bad mood. They are also upset. They are not motivated. Now a customer comes and you, you have, so these the mirror neurons transferring. Customer comes, you argue with the customer. Customer is not happy. The sale that was about to come goes away and your profits go down. Yes? We understand. Yeah? Understood? Ladies, gentlemen, interact. Yes, yes, yes. Can I have a show of hands? Yes, we are up there. Good.